and welcome back to Cheesecakes. As you know, July 30th is National Cheesecake Day, and we are celebrating with two full weeks of cheesecakes. So today we're going to make one of my favorites, strawberry cheesecake. Look at that. Yes, and yes, we are using fresh strawberries in this cheesecake, guys. So this is going to be a lot of fun. Now, if you have seen, and I hope you have already seen, my video on the New York style cheesecake, that technique is a basic technique for making just a lovely plain run-of-the-mill cheesecake. Very good. So if you need just kind of a refresher or what to do and you're wondering about some of these things, just hark, just look back to that New York style cheesecake, okay? Because that's the first one in this listing. And of course, as always, just check the description box below because the full recipe will be there and the link for the New York style will be there, okay? So, now we are making a larger cheesecake than last time. So, that's why you saw four eight ounce blocks of cream cheese going into that bowl. And guys, remember, if you don't have a big mixer, you can do this with a hand mixer and blend it till fluffy. Good and fluffy and creamy. We're just going to scrape down our sides. We're going to go ahead and add the rest of our ingredients for our filling. Okay, we're going to put in our sour cream. Give that a little blend. And now we're going to add our honey, vanilla. And our eggs. And we're going to scrape down the sides. And guys, always make sure when you're scraping down in a big mixer like this, go across the bottom like that. See that? Because you can have stuff hiding down there in the very, very bottom. You want it all to be blended through. Okay, and this is ready to pour into our crust. Okay, guys, look at that beautiful fluffy filling right there. And it's mostly lump-free. The rest of those are going to cook out. Now, for this cheesecake, what we're doing is we're doing a layer of fresh strawberries in this cheesecake. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put a little bit, so we're gonna go about meh, a third of the filling, maybe a little bit less than a third. I'm eyeballing that to about a half of an inch of depth, okay? About a half inch depth on that. Now, in goes our beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fresh sliced strawberries. Okay, look how beautiful that is, you guys, oh my word. All right, now we're gonna do the rest of the filling. Okay, now we've got that really good and full, which is exactly what we want for this cheesecake because we're going to do another little fun thing with this one. And I'm gonna show you right now. You're probably wondering what I'm doing with this. This is strawberry jam, not preserve, not jelly. So you have your strawberry jam and this I have loosened up with a little bit of pure cranberry juice, about three tablespoons worth, just to get it to the right consistency that I want because we're going to swirl this into the top portion of our cheesecake batter. All right, so just a straight table knife, just like that, and we're going to come in through there and begin to swirl 
that strawberry right through there. Okay guys, there is our strawberry cheesecake ready to go into that 350 oven. It's going to go for anywhere between 45 to 55 minutes. We're probably going to hit right at that 50 minute mark. But once again, you have to be careful with cheesecakes. And what do I say? When in doubt, pull it out. And you still want to jiggle in the middle. Okay? So we're going to put this in to 350. Okay, guys. Now it's been about 50 minutes on our strawberry cheesecake. And I believe it is done. So we're going to pull that out. Now with that strawberry, with that strawberry, remember we have that strawberry layer in there and then the strawberry swirl on the top. This, while done, this one is a little bit more jiggly in the middle than what the New York style was, okay? Which in this case is okay. See that? It's a little bit more jiggly, but it is set up, okay? So that tells me it's done. And this is going to cool down again for a couple of hours. Then we're going to refrigerate overnight. Okay guys, our fresh strawberry swirl cheesecake is done and ready to unmold. So we have it prepped with our little papers here and our rubber gripper, remember that. And for this one, this is so tall, we're going to go ahead around the edge and make sure that this one is good all the way down to that bottom of the springform pan. Okay. I think we're good. It's always a little bit of a question when you're unmolding a cheesecake. Okay, we've got it unmolded and ready for a taste test. Ooh, baby. Ooh, she's pretty. Okay, Simone. You asked for it. You wanted strawberry in something. And I told you I was going to make you something. Here we go. Taste test on the fresh strawberry swirl cheesecake. Wow. That fresh strawberry layer, you guys, down there, that is primo right there. And this, the strawberry swirl, the way that interacts with the cheesecake, this might be my new favorite, I gotta tell you. This might be my new favorite right here. This is so good. I'm gonna have another one. Oh, my word. Mm. Oh, yeah. That is singing a happy song right there, you guys. All the way through and tag the chorus. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, you guys try this. Make sure you leave me a comment when you do, because this is outstanding. Oh my word, and if you tweak it, you know I like to know that. And guys, make sure you subscribe so that you can see all the other cheesecakes we're uploading for you to celebrate National Cheesecake Day, like candy bar cheesecake, <gasps> what? Lime cheesecake, oh my goodness, cookies and milk, oh. and that's just to name a few. So you gotta check all of those out, okay? And make sure you make sure you see the one on the New York, the original New York style, because that's the tutorial on how to make a quality cheesecake. And if you can do that, you can do me to All right? And we'll see you next time on Things Tina Does.